Hi and welcome back to the show. Today in our how-to project, Bill's already busy here because we're going to be installing this. It's a water heater bypass kit for winterizing the rig. And uh, Bill, first of all, we got to reveal the water heater here, don't we? Yeah, they're in all different locations, of course, but this is an, a little bit easier one to see. And you can see both lines that are coming in. The top one is always the hot because the cold forces the hot out. So. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to remove the existing lines and first you want to make sure you drain the water, you make sure the propane is off and make sure electric is off if you have electric water heater. Gotcha. And then this is our kit and we're going to be installing this uh, outside to show them how it works. Right. This is a Camco water heater bypass kit. They're about $18 President's Club price at Camping World and they're very easy to install. So if for some reason you're out and the water heater springs a leak for some reason, you can simply shut this off and you can still have your water on without your floor getting drenched. Okay, let's go outside and do okay. it. Okay. This is basically if your water here springs a leak, mm -hmm. like I said before, it literally you can shut this off, drain the water here and it keeps your floor from getting drenched. But also there's a little bit of a nice extra. If you're winterizing your vehicle, you can shut this off and you don't have to fill this with six gallon of your antifreeze oh, and waste it. Gotcha, very handy. So you, if you're winterizing it, drain it, shut this off and then Okay, what do we need to do here first? Well, these pieces, are, the directions are real easy, and the valve here goes in the hot side, and it has an arrow for direction, so make sure you pay attention to what direction. Okay. And this thing comes with the Teflon tape, all ready to go. It comes in the bag, and want, they say they want about two to five turns. And then the, literally, we'll put this one right into the hot side of the water heater. Screws right in, make it nice and snug. Make it, you want to make sure they're good and tight. You want them to check for leaks when you're done. Right. This is actually a check valve here, as you can see. And this is gonna go in the cold side here. It just wraps around there about five turns. Then. That's over there. Now we have a T that needs a little bit of Teflon tape too because it is going into pipe thread. So if it's plastic to plastic or there's a gasket, you don't need it. But if you're gonna go plastic into pipe thread, you wanna make sure you put some Teflon tape on it. And a couple of turns again. Sometimes on the plastic, I'll do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Takes up a little more slack because the plastic tend to be a little bit looser. Now we're simply gonna once you tighten these down, we don't need to do it now, but once you tighten them down, this simply goes in between here. Mm -hmm. And your existing lines that you pull off go right back in place here as if you, so you're gonna have to pull the, the nipples out of your water heater on the old water heater. Make sure you pull those out and the mm -hmm. existing lines go right back on. Here's your valve, there's on, so there's then it, bypass. There are bypasses your water heater. It literally bypasses the water heater for a couple of different reasons. Beautiful. Very okay. easy to do. And how much again? These run about 18 bucks Camping World President's Club price. I've had a bypass operation. It's my <laughs> first one. <laughs> this is your first one. Yes, yeah. it is. He did great. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back.